This presentation provides a description of the vehicle weapons platform, features of the weapons mount kit, ease of removal and remounting of the kit, and validation testing performed at the Nevada Automotive Test Center. The vehicle weapons platform provides a restricted forward lateral field of fire, 180 degrees azimuth and minus 12 degrees depression to plus 12 degrees elevation. The superior performance, mobility, and reliability characteristics of the Hummer replaces the aging quarter-ton M151 series vehicles with a rigorously tested, proven vehicle to meet modern battlefield demands. The basic mounting kit design is the same as used on the M151 series quarter-ton vehicle except for minimal modifications. The folding side-facing seats are common to the 106 millimeter installation kit, as well as the ammunition rack, which securely retains six 106 millimeter rounds. Because of the Hummer's improved mobility and higher operational speeds, the rifle mounting kit is exposed to more severe loads. To prevent the rocking movement and stabilize the rifle under these increased loads, two additional support brackets were added. The rear tailgate step platform provides for efficient ingress-egress procedures. During firing, the windshield is stowed in a bracket behind the cargo barrier and is secured with straps. During extended combat operations or when the rear seats are occupied, it is recommended that the windshield be removed. To protect the hood from high pressures created by the muzzle blast, a ballistic grill with aluminum protective plates has been installed on the outer surface. Additional aluminum reinforcements were added to the interior surface to reduce hood deflection. Simplified attachments incorporated into the design provide for quick and efficient removal of the kit for conversion back to the base vehicle configuration as demonstrated here. In order to determine the ranges of azimuth and elevation from which the 106 mm recordless rifle could be fired from the Hummer without injury to personnel and without unacceptable damage to the vehicle from either back blast or muzzle blast, a series of functional firing tests were performed at the Nevada Automotive Test Center.